Welcome to the video. My name is Murray. A lot of people have been complaining that the Yagato Cam Link is too expensive, being up to like $430 sometimes, but now it's like $312. But that's still insane. Price gouges are really taking advantage of COVID and the whole quarantine stuff do not satisfy them. There's a better solution. These prices will be going down as well, and I'll show you how to find out when that happens, and you can get notifications when that does happen. There's a better option. But first, intro. <laughs> So there's price gouges everywhere now. Of course, here and Amazon are not selling this at the moment because it's currently out of stock. The cam link is very useful when you're plugging your DSLR camera or cinema camera. I have the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera through HDMI that goes with the cam link into my stream PC for streaming whenever I stream online, but also I use it on my main PC if I have a video interview on Zoom, Skype, Discord, whatever you want to use. So conference calls with your companies or organizations. That's why a lot of people want this, but that's also why the prices are really high. A lot of people don't know that you can use the Elgato HD60S, similar to how you would use a cam link. So what you can do is with the HDMI plugged into your DSLR camera, plug the HDMI into the in on your Elgato, and then you have the USB-C out into your main computer. It works just the same as a cam link. There's no difference. I will mention that if you do have the cam link plugged into a 2.0 USB, there will be a little bit of delay or lag. So for example, I plugged it into a 2.0 USB slot about six months ago or something, because I wanted to try it out when I got the cam link. There was some delay. It was about a 200 millisecond delay which is still not bad, but you can notice it and it's something that you don't really want to have. So what you want to do is you want to plug either the Cam Link or the Elgato HD60S into a USB 3.0. It's an updated port, it's faster, it's much more reliable, it's smoother, and you won't have to worry about lag issues. There might be like a 20 to 50 millisecond delay, but that's very, very minimal to the point where it's hardly even noticeable. In fact, you don't even. The stream hasn't noticed on my stream, so it's not that big of a deal. So that's the one issue I had before is when I got the Camlink 4K. Uh, yeah, this is the 4K version, by the way. They don't differentiate the difference between the HD and the 4K version. So make sure you get what you're asking for. But I used, started with the USB 2.0 with the computer because there's two versions of the USBs. There's 2.0 and there's 3.0. Make sure you use 3.0. I used the 2.0 and it was, I think it was like a one whole second delay. And I was like, man, this, this cam link is terrible. I'm going to send it back. I switched back to using this as my cam link and then realized I was using the wrong port. So I switched it. So as you can see on my screen, camelcamelcamel.com. I don't know why it's called that. It's a stupid name. <laughs> so you can see that camel, camel, camel tracks the prices of Amazon products. And you can see that it used to be down to like $122 for a cam link which is the normal prices. Amazon doesn't have it right now. You can see it's out of stock because everyone bought it. But you can see third parties have hiked the prices up to like 450, 400. Now it's like 312, 314. Do not buy it right now. Do not satisfy these people because they're absolute schmucks. Wait until either that comes back online with Amazon with Corsair is the party that sells it on Amazon. Also, uh, Algato sells it. Wait for that to come out. But there is a better option. Like I mentioned, the Algato HD60S. If I go to camelcamelcamel.com, camel you can track the prices. Yeah, the prices were hiked up to 500 at one point. That's insane. But it went back down to 250, which is still expensive. But Amazon is still selling it for $180. It does the exact same thing. You just have an extra cable from the USB-C into the computer. Not a big deal. Still works out just fine. So there you go. If that was helpful, subscribe, stick around for the future. I teach people how to have quality live streams, just make it look good. Visual effects, editing, filmmaking, streaming, all that fun jazz. There's a Discord down in the description. Feel free to join. A lot of people with similar interests as you, streaming, editing, visual effects. Great community there, pretty active. And uh, there's some giveaways there as well, here and there. So stick around for that, jump in there. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting. I think I'm going to buy another another capture card. I might just get rid of this cam link entirely. Yeah.